Yeah, Boomage out main. Molotov's already dropped, so looking to set a bit of a tone as the attack is over towards Ivy. Smoke's out late. Flash to follow. Ooh, a lot to do here, and only the first. Looks like we've still got a good bit of bite in the Na'Vi roster. Twist has cut them down to size, though, and so poor old Boomich can't get the bomb down. Perfecto responsible for it. Plenty of time in this round, but these long fights do favor the USPs, Lauren. I certainly do, and I'm sure Boomich and Co are well aware of it, trying to limit that distance from pull it to a more manageable area, and Perfecto gets up close, and maybe he can do some damage he has. That's not bad, but look at the HP of Boomich. Yeah, problematic. If he can get this bomb down, now we're cooking. That CT smoke does mean he can push in, but they respect it. Ooh. This is so tentative on a knife's edge, really. You can see the kit right there, too. So they're well aware that they can get hold of that. Perfecto going to go and sit by Pop. And it looks like Boomich might be the kind of sacrificial lamb to this. Ooh, they even pick up a kit. That couldn't be any better timed. Na'Vi starting to be favored at this one. Perfecto with the P250 as well. Oh, Rez. He's to find this one cleanly. They're running out of time. They're running out of time. That's the kit. And that should be the round twist. Getting just the one. It's not enough. It's insufficient. There is a not enough time. And he's so convinced that it's Pop Dog. He should have just gone down. But I'm afraid it's all five of each side collapsing at the end of that one. Well played by Na'Vi to turn that around. It was an unfavorable 2v3 that ends with a one in their column. So we have a unicorn round if nobody dies. What if everybody dies? Graveyard uh, round? Apocalypse round, yeah. Apocalypse round. Just something real grim. Yeah. All right, so a couple of key notes here for NIP on the map of Train. Hampus is the inside anchor. Nork will be doing the primary orping duties. Plopsky likes to pick up the org on the CT side. Rez, aggressive, in towards Popdog. And Twist, well, his job is over towards Ivy and back of six lane. So this force by coming on through here. Three deagles, a scout, and a 5-7. Rez getting up into Pop straight away. So right on cue, it seems. Okay. And uh, eventually I'll ask you the same question. I, I don't know how NIP look on this map that I asked kind of about Overpass and Na'Vi. That's nice, Rez. This Deagle. He does seem to have an affinity for finding Simple too, and he does it again. That's two big kills. And suddenly the others are quite split apart, quite sporadic in approach. This is a, a bit of a nightmare. Look where the bomb is too. It's recoverable though, Alex. Certainly is, Lauren. The smoke electronic is being quite the rascal. Where's his early frags with that deagle really echoing through this? <laughs> Can't keep a straight face with these glasses on. <laughs> Electronic's got the frag. And Plopsky is going to go down as well. 3v3, but so damn low. Problematic. Bomb loose main, and they've known that the whole time. So Boomich on a retrieval mission. It should be impossible with an AK staring at it and with an aim like Rez. There it is. Nice work. <laughs> Three kills. This ain't bad. He's going to Ivy with Electronic. This is very interesting. Smoke will get them into the back lanes at least, but Hampus um, is here. If he just plays spoiler, look at the time. 25 seconds. Ah, that's a kill. Hello. That's a freebie. Probably didn't expect the other. He might have been curious as to why he was backing away, but no matter which way you want to cut it, 18 seconds ain't much to work with. It really isn't. I don't know if he can get across. The backtrack, so he does. Just that moment to relapse. Nork to where? 10 seconds. Molly's perfect. If he runs, knife out. He's got a plant here. Maybe not. Rez has arrived. Perfect timing. No but time, no time. a safe plant. 4.5. Oh. Aiming. How? It's an extra 800 for every member of Na'Vi. Very selfless play from Boomich right there. He could have just stayed, tried to fight the connector guy, see if the other individual wants to push forward. Obviously not too sure where he was. That would have given Rez the opportunity just to hold on to that AK and not need to make the kill. But what I'm talking about with that plant, you're stimulating the economy. And Na'Vi, they love a good force buy. Is Rez kicking it off with those two openings on the Deagle. Easy as you like. A third, and he finishes things off with that fourth onto Boomich here at the back of the bomb train inside. So good stuff from NIP to be able to win the force by scenario. But they have to go through an arduous task of dealing with NIP on Deagles. No, sorry, Navi on Deagles. Too many ends. Yeah. All right. You can see the force by coming through. Flemmy's been dropped over an AK. There's a Mac-10 on the floor. <laughs> Other bits and bobs being tossed around, making sure everybody gets the weapon of choice. So let's see that util set, the one that's been hammered into me. Front spawn, Molly. Second spawn, Flash. There they go. Perfectly set up. And oh, Simple's hungry for some action. Straight in, recovers a rifle, wants to deliver it to his squad mate. He's like, Boomich, come on now. You, you know who yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. I'll be taking the Kalashnikov, Danka, Schoen. 
Not German, so that would be weird. Triviet. Thank you. Smokes off Ivy. I'm trying to think of any Russian that I know that is not vulgar. That's for Dania. Oh, thank you in Russian. It's Spasiba. That's it. Spasiba. Isn't that... What was Privyet? I think it's hello. Oh. That's a dirty word is what you said. No. Yikes. Could be. Um, Let's tread carefully. Rez will have to <laughs> after being flashed by his teammate. Okay, look. Someone at home who's from like CIS. Where is Borscht from? I can't remember where it's from. Mm, it's a good like soup. It's like a like really red, like red. fruity soup. It's really, really good. But I can't remember which like region it's actually from. Uh, all that weirdness aside, it has kind of accumulated towards this B hit. Now He's going up? He's going up? He's of course he is. Electronics, electronics there? Gonna get a freebie. Rez is feeling very free and maybe a little too much so, but Hampus has to hold this down, but about to get overwhelmed. Three more players pouring his way. Oh well played. The first two. Teammate Nork taking simple down, and the nade will do good damage. 20 shaved off of Flamey's 60, so now forced to relocate with the flames. Twist, this flank is everything, and Electronic's not looking. Now is prime time. He's going to upgrade to the AK for the final frag. Flamey to clutch. Certainly not impossible. Two different angles of assault. He needs a clean kill onto this AWP player. The spray's good. Nork working with a little now. Smokes and kits on them. If he could deploy that smoke, they can still contribute from the grave. And eventually found, Nork does get it, and that is a defuse second round for NIP. Look how close that came, though. Oh. Contributions across the board. Uh, briefly, I, I did get a message through the wire about Stunner doing something. Uh, oh, yeah. Is, is there something going on out there? So on the social medias in the quarantine cam, we know that Stunner has been uh, keeping you all entertained, especially on the Insta. So if you want to head over to uh, his Instagram, at Stunner, I believe it is, He's uh, giving away a how pin. So there's some goodies over there for everybody at home. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh. I think he said, he said to me, the only message he needs is pin, please. Pin, I please. Think, yeah. Oh. PL said, you know, you really don't have to be particularly, you know, artistic how with it. How please, pin, P please. Pin, please. Whatever you how fancy, pin, really. Please, whatever. Just this get is, involved. Uh, this is a fast force by coming wow. out here from Navi or a partial. They've half poured into this one with the standard out smokes. We've got a five lane smoke. Some Molotovs are plenty. And through Ivy, they go. Just about going to go. There we are. Makes it through in the end and into the loving arms of Plopski. Image is down. And oh, I'm a bit worried about Plopski. He could be isolated here, but he's got the support of Nork again. This guy's really good at that complimentary style, but Flamey's success is going to keep them worried. Yeah, it does. You're, you're bang on. From the two games or the two maps we've seen so far, you know, we've seen evidence that Nork is always in a position to, to support the weakness. You know, like if there is, a, if there is for, for their rifler, a weakness to the choice they've made, Nork tends to be the one propping it up. The retreats on overpass, the Olaf line from train, he's got it covered so they can play the close sandwich angle. He actually got that kill from top heaven. So oh, he was, me? yeah, so he was up heaven looking through the tight little Time. gap that you can see in towards sandwich, making sure that Plopsky at least had a little bit of help. And in the previous, I was thinking about highlighting it, but he was the reason that Hampus was able to stay a little bit safe on that bomb train inner, getting a kill from the players coming out high ramp, taking the pressure off. So good stuff there from Nork in the early stages. 3-1 now as the barrage of utility comes on over yet again. Hampus is oh going God. through, but the flash will make him think better of committing too hard. These Some of these gamers, man. 2020 Counter-Strike, it does seem like people have seen the <gasps> benefits of being hey. aggressive and that's a disadvantage. It spreads and it's horrible. Perfecto. He tucked into the corner, false sense of security, and now he's crispy. Oh, these molly spreads have been so deadly as of late. I don't know what it is. Has there been a change to them? Well, or? that's calculated, and he knows that if anyone's in that corner, they get this false sense, it spreads, and you've got to run through the whole thing to escape. So the key with the Molotovs is as the longer they're on the ground, the more damage it does, and the last spread that it does, when it really ticks, ticks. the last two, yeah, you're doing like 30 damage with just two ticks there. So you yeah. can see uh, how unlucky Perfecto was. God, Twist is really on the verge here. <laughs> of either a great bit of work or, I guess... A worrying bit of info. Two players now open on Ivy. They can go wherever they fancy here. Hmm. Rez really is going to have to do a lot with a little here because Plopsky's going to have to make a choice. Simple electronic already out Ivy, and as the smoke fades, there is a lot of space. Plopsky has nowhere to hide. This will. This is his best of a bad situation. He knows his teammates got pop, so he can be concerned and prioritize Ivy. 20 seconds, Navi. You're making me nervous here. Where's the bomb? Boomich. Okay, there we go. Rez is gone. That was the player, player towards Pop. But look at Hampus. He's quick on the tail. Now they see a little bit more. Plopsy going down, though, makes this problematic as Hampus and Nork. What? How is Hampus able to do so much right now? These last two players are actually cut. Oh, Hampus, that is God. sick work. 
Absolutely phenomenal. Hampus gets the timing bang on. They're planting open and Navi punished for running down the clock again. I wish this wasn't the first time I was saying it, but it certainly is not. Let's see this one again. This is how Perfecto lost his life. The perfect spread. 30 ticks towards the end. I appreciate that insight, Chad. But it was Hampus that really wins it. Not only this, but they're planting at 10 seconds left. He's got enough time to underhand a flash and take a safe long range MP9 peak, getting them both. They can't believe it. A roar. He can't believe it. Erupting from the NIP camp. There's just so many positions that they had to worry about there. Boomich not really knowing where to plant, but open to pop. Didn't feel like the right answer whatsoever. We've got the eco coming out here. And, well, two frags have already fallen. So we might get an opportunity to take a little bit of stock here. I don't think that Perfecto's Zeus will be getting much use. He is over towards the top of the Pop Dog and inside push. Doesn't work from that range, mate, let me tell you. And who was the, <laughs> who was the player on Na'Vi that impressed you with, like, the SMGs? I swear you mentioned... Image. Image. Oh, the irony of... <laughs> oh, that's, that's a little stinger, isn't it? That's a little, little bitter pill. So the thing oh. to look for here uh, as, we, as we move forward is how well they're able to deal with some of these yard takes. In the previous, it felt like the death squad, Electronic and Simple had done enough. You know, they That Ivy. Yeah, and the way that teams are doing that now, you can see they're smoking off towards the back of the six train to obscure bomb train vision. They're molotoving out the cutout position and then they're walking up clearing sandwich and close main from there, which puts the CTs between a rock and a hard place. So I like the new approach we are seeing from teams on a map like train. There's even a smoke on the front page of Reddit at the moment, the twist throw on train the other day from Ivy. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, it goes all the nice. way over. And the great thing with that smoke is that there's no real tell because it's going over the CT's heads and yard. They're not going to be seeing that one there. And then it just lands on the connector position and you're hitting the inner side bomb site without having to give away too many tells from the box holes. So we'll see if that one comes into play when NIP make it over towards sure that T Rush side. Will be on the case. A 10 out of 10 observer by Chad's I, accreditation. Well, He'll be on it. I spend a lot of time with Rush in the digital realm. So I'm a bit, I'm, I'm the number one Rush fan, I think. We are the Rush fan club. Don't worry. Yeah, he's, he's trying he's to... He's in adverts. He's on shows. He's in gunners. He's got it all. Alex does. <laughs> All right, Alex has put his gunners on now. See if he Let's can. See if I cast better. Well. You ready? Yeah. Come on then. Whole round. Give us this whole round. Come on. Yeah, I gotta get these right. Have a bit. Look at this You're aggression. Ooh. All right, now we're gaming. So's Plopsky charging into Simple's AWP. He's got a partner in crime, and it's the both of them. Simple Electronic immediately seizing control of round seven. We need a difference maker here. Could be very well be Twist. He's got two players, two targets, nothing to report. The spray from Hampus falling flat. Nork under pressure won't be doing much with that. And already the second converted. Seems Na'Vi. All they needed was two opening kills from their star players and they can convert around. Exactly. That's what we're telling you, everybody at home. As long as Simple and Electronic get the kills, they win the rounds. Remember in that first half of Overpass, there was three out of the four rounds that they won where Simple had a double kill and they converted them? It's Simple Maths. So... I mean, it's going to make casting it pretty boring, but we could basically tell you if Na'Vi are going to win, whether or not, like, the round, if Simple Electronic has got a frag. Yeah. Great. <laughs> well, I was casting in gone. the glasses, by the way. I don't know. Honestly, I, they're not for me, um, just because of the... Um, I've got very sensitive uh, sides of my head. I get I headaches with sunglasses on. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The win condition, the win factor. It wasn't Simple getting the opening kill, but I guess Perfecto did. And it was with the assistance of Simple, so we're, we're on the right page here. Fortunately, Lauren, the correlation suggests that this doesn't translate into oh, a victory God. yet. Still time. Theory does not prepare or account for this. Now we're talking. Electronic finds There it is. It's only looking more promising now, jumping across safely as well. So last time around, NIP decided to stack Yard after they lost the opening frags. This round is playing a little bit slower. As you can see, Na'Vi don't actually have any Yard control right now. They've postured up. They're waiting for an aggressive move over towards Ivy. Control. It's, it's a good call because if they do go Yard, they will just be able to save. Keeping Nork towards Connector, he can get a deep kill. This smoke right here will be going towards the back of the 6 train, which will give them cover to be rotating around. Um. It's not the, okay, I saw someone do a really geeky one which lands on the little le ledge above the ladder and you can actually see legs on six and it's really, really spicy. Not so the one. Now Nork will rotate in and they'll do their best to hold on to these weapons. The question is, do Na'Vi want to hunt? 30 seconds left on the clock. The bomb will be going down probably within the next 10. They just want to make sure that they cross their T's and dot their I's. No sneaky CT's trying to spoil this one. The money's starting to look better, and now the net, well, it's been put on out. So we have Flamey above Pop still. He can start to apply pressure. We're on screen with Electronic, who can push towards CT spawn there as well. But do they want to give up these guns? They're establishing a bit of a bank right now. 
on that Navi side of things. And if they go for this and they lose too many, well, it might hurt them in future rounds. But allowing NIP to hold on to these rifles, the AWP in the hands of Nork, they will get another bite, another crack. Boomich is sniffing something out, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, it's like Boomich will at least be the first to come down those stairs. Nork holding the line. About now, if I was Boomich. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's the first. Electronic baited in, but he goes down to... Nice angle held by the ninjas, and it doesn't look like anyone's close for the hunt either, so we will be seeing three weapons saved and brought into the next. Keeps them very competitive into this one. Let's see Perfecto's opening kill. Just the bottom there, bit of ass amnesia from Rez. I know those feelings. Chad. I'm sitting here, you gotta, I gotta, I gotta activate it. Yeah, so if anyone was wondering what Chad just referenced there, there was some really horrible news. I'm surprised he's making light of it. Um, but to, be, to be bringing up a, a condition like that, Chad, uh, uh, Chad's ass is scientifically um, I'm asleep, I guess. Asleep. Yeah. And it looks Aggression from, oh my oh. goodness, Boomich. He's fluffed his lines there. He's thrown the script out the window. And Hampus giggling his way to an opening kill. Hampus almost asleep at the wheel. Makes back up, unlike Chad's butt. <laughs> you need to get the CPR kit out. <laughs> <laughs> Onto Chad's buttocks, but... <laughs> We've really talked a lot about Chad. Honestly, you know? it's just, I can't believe that he's actually scientifically, categorically got a granddad ass. He, he doesn't have the wagon. No, I'm I'm hauling wagon. You, you got the wagon. Thanks, darling. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> What's wrong with us? Oh, thank God. This isn't what we're going to be talking about for the next minute because there's a whole lot of Counter-Strike transpiring here. Weapon retrieval from Plopsky, and he has managed to get away with that. And Careful if he tucks now. in, if he tucks in, Chad, I'm excited because that locks down the main prong of this Ivy Pincer. Did you hear a step? He certainly heard something. It was fake steps. They start to regroup. Plopsky holding the light. Flash, if he drops go. that smoke, if they continue to rot this clock, I'm going to scream. Simple's going to flash for him, yeah, right? He's going to hear these yeah. pins pulled. Perfecto can, excuse me, who is it? Plopsky can just throw underhand his smoke. He has stacked five yard here. Oh, this is Ow, weird. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. He, get the first. They're locked in. They've got no oh, time. They're green screen. God. This is a nightmare. Somebody needs to put an, a straight up analog clock on Boomich's desk so he can just watch those seconds transpire. Watch them pass because making the call with such little map control has cost Na'Vi the round. Look at the guns right now on the NIP side of things. Four AK-47s. It couldn't be any better for them than AWP in the hands of Nork. Yeah. That was uh, with those saved guns we were just talking he about here. He didn't even have armor, did he? No, True. Well, they, they were taking a save into this one, those two individuals. There's just pistols behind the, for Rez and Plopsky. So it was literally three saved guns. Remember the opening that Hampus got? He should have gone down. He should yeah, have gone down to right. beat This is how it all started. The in-game leader, he goes down, he pours his lines. And then Plopsky just melts them away there. That was very, uh, very good call there, Alex. You nailed that one. Thank you. Ruth. You can get a 10 la rush cut I'd today. like a gold star. Can I have a yeah. gold star Gold shot? stars are in the lantern for making sure you guys tidy up and do the dishes the and put the bins out. You get gold stars for doing That's good stuff. Real. Yes, That's not real. That's not real. That's not I have laminated That's weird. Rule. This is weird too. Boomage. Oh, yikes. He's having a mare. He tried to go back in, maybe shake it off instantly, and it's it's gone terribly wrong. We do see an adjustment coming oh. out. It looks like, oh, Rez caught that one. Yeah, he has to back away from this one more nade, anything, and he'd be isolated and probably dead. Twist push, pushed Ivy and, and saw that it wasn't clear because he got his head taken off, so that is a little bit of a problem right now. And with this extra space that Na'Vi have taken, Things get dangerous for NIP now, never mind. What the hell is this? I mean, he's 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 had this individual aim um, throughout his arrival in the NIP jersey, but it does seem like he's definitely been marinating in the threat, patience, prevails mm. mantra. This guy, definitely. You put, you put the right aim with the right brain, you do seem to be having a star in the making. Plopsky, let's not forget watching NIP win DreamHack Masters Malmo from the stage, from the audience, excuse me. And now battling for a playoff spot in the very same team. So what's simple alive? And and as much as yes, we 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 take the piss of it out of it a little bit, he can be a game changer on this round. Uh North again. I, I feel like he's such a safe pair of hands. I I, I know that phrase is drastically overused. <laughs> and we used to say it about a lot of the Navi team. Um but for now I do want to say I don't see Nork as being this crazy flashy orper. Oh. Oh he is. 
We haven't seen it this game though, yeah. have we? Wait, but wait till you. But have we seen it this game? Oh, Chad? you're right. It hasn't happened just yet. In the supportive. Does he need to do it yet? Do, They're yeah. seven three up. He's chilling. Oh, this guy's got three pairs of sunglasses on on the right. Wait, that was a sponge. What did it say? Oh, did it? Son- Stunner, something Harry. steined. Look oh. at the guy on the bottom right. Oh. Proposal for Trace. Wait, that was Stunner. No, well, potentially. That was a big forehead. Or wife. I that didn't was like a five it. head. All right, so uh, Guns will be brought back out here for that of Na'Vi as they take their first tactical timeout here of map number two. Just a quick uh, point. This is an elimination match. The loser of this is out of ESO one Cologne. Actually, look, in, in the back of my mind, I'm just waiting for Na'Vi to come online, right? Oh. It's, it's the same as Overpass. I'm going to sit here, and it feels like that switch goes, you know, in the right place, and suddenly we've got frags every round, and they just have this kind of brute force style. But I... Um, what, is this, can I start being a bit worried now at 7-3? Yes. Uh, yeah. At this point, I, if we don't see Na'Vi convert their next full weapon round, which obviously I'm going to count this one as, okay. uh, given the fact that they've fully invested, they've got Simple on the AWP, they've got everything they need. It looks like they're going to be having an earlier look towards Brown Horse, take some of that control away, and a little bit of a slower pace. It's nice to see Boomich hasn't bounded into Pop Dog. does mean that it's been actively held by Rez. He'll be hearing... Any sound cues that they do make now. Norks rotating towards inner already here, so they will have two players on the B bomb site. Res, uh. res, res, res. <laughs> okay. Where is he alive? There's three of them there. They had the molly in the hand and an AWP, but didn't want to take the shot. But now Twist has drawn blood. Electronics gone. He's saved from the molly, and they're going to just. No, don't just all in. Don't just go on a smoke. Two here. Ampus can slaughter. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell was that, Hampus? He might have just added that nail to the coffin, banging it down. This is not a good look. I'm I'm, I'm in the worried camp now. There it is. That's what I'm going to call it. The worried camp? Yep. Chad just looks thinks this is another day in the office. I really like watching NIP play. The well, I, I'm not used to this, right? When I left, Na'Vi looking great. A couple of hiccups here and there, rebuilding the roster. I've dipped in every now and then. Simple best in the world. You know, uh, now... Well, the ninjas you remember, Lauren, they're in a retirement village at the moment. Having is a that good Dignitas? Time. I wasn't going to say the name. There's something ironic about Dignitas. There is like a clinic that actually yep. is like, it helps those matters. You guys have a different experience with Dignitas than most, so. I mean, it's, it, okay. <laughs> Aggressive Ivy smoke from Twist here as the double <laughs> orb setup is out. And they are trying to isolate him and see if they can find a pick. So they will need to respect this early. We have two above pop, bomb down towards team main. Three with Simple on the hero AK, seeing if he can be the hero. Nade over towards the top of ladder, won't get any damage done. Uh, Chad, can I correct you there? That was one point of damage done, actually. Oh, so sorry. On 99 now. Analyst. <laughs> Watch that somehow have ramifications <laughs> into this round. <laughs> so when pressure has been applied here on Twist, he actually moved away towards back of bomb. Well, there's a nade kill. And Plopsky's taken over the Ivy duties because he knows it's going to be more pistols, which he can deal with that a little bit better than the AWP can. So they still continue to apply pressure on this side of the map. It isn't working so far. And now they have two of them ready for this. Hmm. Driss will take that first shot, and he's got Plopsky perfectly positioned to catch the trade. Oh dear. Simple wasn't ready for that, but it doesn't matter when his precision is on. His game is on. He's taken out. And now with the bomb loose, Hampus retreating. Oh, a fantastic nice. connection. Flamey needed that. That's going to give him space. Looking for the plant. Electronic through the pincer on Z. Wait. Safe plant being adopted from Flamey. I like that. He can push deep on that. Oof, Great nade. The nade was perfectly placed. Oh, they, they, they predicted that. I, I'm impressed that they were still being so aware of it. But it's Flamey in the 1v2. Bomb planted, but he's behind enemy lines, and I like this adjustment. Theorycraft with me, Lauren. He's got 30 HP and no armor. He has to use the time. It can't be his bullets here. He Check needs that bomb. extra teammate, right? A, no, it's not what? enough. I thought that would be enough to call it clear. It was a poor plant for him. But there it is. That will be nine for the NIP boys. It does look like that victory that they are... They've been aspiring to throughout the year up against Na'Vi. So close. 16-14, 16-13. They've been getting closer every time. But it seems the breaking point could very well be now. Na'Vi frustrated, flustered. And plenty of fans he gathered is. here to prepare. It. What's he doing? What is Stan is doing? Is this the like signed a thing at the Simple's front? glass. How oh, has he yeah. got Simple's glass? He gets Have deliveries. He, he gets it? deliveries every day. He gets, he gets like little care thing. packages and stuff. What the hell? Involved. Yeah, just to keep him oh. sane. Yeah. Wait, are these fast flashes? Okay, no, no, no. I thought they were going quick then. Just your usual um, Oof. drive train and e-box smoke. Out he goes, and that's a star. Gone. Muted. I read. Perfecto. Great Trade. catch. 
Only his fourth frag. Now we could be onto something. Nork, he's been playing Heaven consistently. He often feels like a bit of a one and done position, certainly with an AWP, but let's see if he can catch Boomich with that bomb. He's about to be making his note self known. He does. And then Hampus can swing out in response. He's been just dominating that area, hasn't he? It looks like every single time Nork gets that kill. Now it's flamey and simple. Once again, these two in a bit of a spot of bother. Nork. Oh, that's lovely work from him. Clear, concise, and now simple isolated. Nork knows better than to try and play into the hands of simple. The man is obviously truly revered as one of the best for a very good reason. You gotta respect it. You can see the air of caution on NIP. They take their time, they respect the man, but you can tell as to why now. Oh. <laughs> I get scared. I still get scared. Those ill flicks we've we've mm. Mm, simple does some simple simple sometimes does that. Yeah, I live in a world when simple's still alive that anything is possible because right. he just has such an awareness of the map and the rotations. You can see he was already starting to swing over towards that position, getting out of dodge, but look, the plant's great. The loss bonus is obviously ticking on up here, and if we're going to be real about this situation, Na'Vi still have a chance in this map. It doesn't look good, it hasn't felt great, but if they can convert one or two of the next two rounds, they're going into the second half competitive, right? This is Train, we know it is a CT bias map. Yeah, just watching that replay as well, you can see that was actually a very good correlation from Plopsky's spray. If he'd have jumped, I mean, if he had missed a couple, simple safe for the repeat, that yep. gets nasty. So very important pickup. 10, you're absolutely bang on, Chad, and, and I don't want to kind of uh, breeze over your statement there. This is not the end of the world for Na'Vi. This is T-Side Train. It's their map pick. However, here comes Devil's Advocate. You've already outlined that it's their T-Sides typically where they get a lot of the dirty work done. Their CT sides often are plagued by more communication issues or this incentive to, to be the aggressor follows them into their defense. So we'll bear that in mind. Into the 14th, though, we are seeing a bit more of a default spread. Simple's going to go searching. Twist is on the AWP alongside Nork, and their double AWP is one that I often forget. Evades the flash perfectly, and he loses a teammate. He loses his life. The coordination, something as simple as a flash push, and now whittling away at Na'Vi. There's very little left. Just old flamey. Flame Dogger descending the ramp and meeting Nork's AWP. That's 11. Just quickly, Na'Vi are on a five-map winning streak on train, right? The two of those wins were against Gambit Youngsters, one was against Hard Legion, the other was against Virtus Pro, and the most recent against a dilapidated mouse sports. But in all of those maps, they've had pretty massive hauls on their T side. So yeah. Do you see the cruel irony um, of Hobbit standing in for Gambit? They lost youngsters. their first they, game. They, put, they bring in not a youngster, an oldie, into the, the Gambit youngsters roster, and they break their 35. 30, yeah, something like 31, 8, 8 maps three along that line, yeah. unbeaten record. Aww. Poor guys. I, th I don't think that counts. In their books, it wasn't they, the full Different roster, count. different yeah. roster. Yeah, oh, he's super there. back in there. Get him in. Regardless, uh, every time I say super. Okay, can we. <laughs> I need to I need to wake up because I almost feel like it's inevitable that Navi come back, but right now they're not. We're eleven to three. This is the second map, and they are not a map to the good. Certainly not. So if there's pressure to be felt, if there's a moment to come online, it has to be now. And everything counts now. We can't have a round here or there. Yes, these individuals are just outstandingly talented. But by God, do you need a couple more? Come on, Na'Vi, there's more in the tank than this. Hampus wants to take it straight out of the equation. Look at his aggression into the halls, round after round, against tier one opposition. Na'Vi in need of the final round of this first half. Second map, first game of our seventh day. Perfecto onto Plopski. That's the first blood they were hoping for. What's Rez's response? A smoke towards Pop. In the corner, locks them down. That's 15 seconds where they can no longer buy it for control of that map. Nice flash. Puts Perfecto on notice. Crawling towards Ivy. Whose responsibility is that? With the loss of Plopsky, it's kind of fallen to Rez, I suppose. He is in a prime position to be doing it. They have to deal with this. This is simple and electronic right here. If Twist and Rez can take these two down, it could be the round right here. Yeah, Twist on the verge of the smoke. Rez is there. They've read it. They've positioned... I say well, oh my god, they got both of them. But Boomich was the additional element. We haven't had him there before, really. And now he comes online. The last two players hauling ass from B. They are making it over. An unconventional positioning, maybe, could be a problem. Let's see what Nort can do here. I really like the choice they made there around Ivy. I'm sure Chad's got a skybox in mind for that one. But very, very cool decision regardless. Bomb will be down and not contested. The smoke lasted just long enough to deter Nork. 
This frag onto Flame, he's everything here though. Gets the info. Hampus can deal with it. Oh, but Perfecto's on the red train Beautiful as well. Made. Moving to green. Flash out E-Box. Oh. to burn. They're playing this so well. He can't, he has to move into the art line of fire. Nope. Finds a safe haven. Covered by the... Oh, Hampus! Sensational! That's a big win. 18 frags to his name. He has not died. He does not surrender. 12. What a way to round out the half. Na'Vi had it on a plate and he's knocked it out of their hands. We'll be right. This uh, car crash happened live in slow motion. NIP have caused it. They have put the oil on the road. It is a disaster at the moment. GG.bet have started to hang up their mouse and keyboard as well for the Na'Vi hopes and dreams. We are into it though, jiggling for the smoke. Electronic given the responsibility of Ivy, but it's not in the NIP playbook. A different plan in mind here, Lauren, looking to set it in motion with a util on Hampus. Just to note, there's no defuse kit in play here for Na'Vi, but they're playing retake towards the inner bomb site. They are going to have to get a wriggle on, and this we was that smoke, smoke I was talking about. Cool. So check this one out. This is what Chad was saying. No CTs will see this one. That's a bonus for Rush. And as we bounce in, it's going to land right where it needs to. Bang Rush. on cue. And Flamey is just going to have to respect it. Flashed off, smoked off, and the plan can happen in a 5v5. We're going to have a full 5v5 retake if Rez is a little more careful. Charging forward, he wants to take space here, and he's found a gap. Straight through the connector, it was smoked. He knows he can exploit it, diving down, in trouble, in jeopardy, oh. and allowed to escape from the suppressing shots of Plopsky. It's still 5v5. I love this aggress because it almost plays in Twist, potentially. Down the line, we'll see how much damage he can do, but they have to hold them back, and for now, they succeed. Perfecto falls, and Plopsky double dips. Oh! Don't get the best of simple like that. Flamey still stands. Here we go. Rez, tall, large, and in charge on the side, doing the dance. With simple. And again, simple. Still stands a 1v2 oh, now. Oh, that Drags up Hampus. Gets on the bomb, but no kit times. Ticket, he's done for. And this might be Na'Vi done for. I'm beyond worried now. Yeah, I mean, I'm afraid by winning that pistol with such a fantastic call, a fantastic smoke, they've really made a meal of this, Na'Vi. That gap, Chad's saying, yes, they can close it at any <laughs> point. Jeez Louise, no. Putting a P250 on the sniper's hands in the pistol. That was a, a raid boss, if you will. He had the Kevlar vest and the P250, and you can see what Hampus was doing with that pistol. What a cool pistol round. I'd like yeah. to I, I'd like to watch that one again, just to, just to see all the moving pieces. We're getting straight into it, though. It's Na'Vi forced by with their hopes and dreams of an ESL1 Cologne title, really, in the balance. Okay, info. I guess there's four of them here. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying oh. to find the silver lining, and oh, this it's is it. This is done. It's, it is Th done. This is done because that was a force buy where they've only found one kill. Perfected with a deagle locked in pop. He can't get into yard. Smoked off. They know his position. They can chase him down. Take that out of his hands. That's the arm of the deagle gone. Next round, the loss bonus 2400. What do you do? You're already looking at 15. Do you buy again? Do you go for the first gun round? Do you play for overtime? Do you battle back, knowing? You're only two rounds away from elimination from the entire tournament. You haven't even put up a fight on your own map pick. NIP have made you look silly. This is you know, a, a fantastic uh, embodiment of, of Counter-Strike this year. The results in the past mean nothing. Only as good as your last result. Everyone's hungry for what you've had or what you want. I mean, everyone's looking for the same thing. And so a half by will just be a Desert Eagle for Flamey and Simple, hoping that that can be enough. But you know, we talked about how meticulous the NIP roster are. They're well aware of this financials burden. They're well aware that their advantages lies within a pack mentality here. You've got Hampus, who has proven his time, himself time and time again. <laughs> and you can see the furrowed brow of Boomich on that Zeus, just hoping and praying he gets a freebie, a weapon delivered to his front door. Here we go. First test. It's got to be incredible. And it's not. It's anything but. It's it's swept away in a moment. Electronic is next in line. Maybe he has a shot at this. Behind the smoke. Kept safe for now. The tease continue. Good work towards Nort. To look up more shots. Nabs the rifle. He wants this. He's going to try and tear him apart by himself. A great job on one. Gets over. Zealous tries to dive into them. It's only a 2v2, but bear in mind the rifles, the armor, the bomb. The T's have all of this, and they've got half of the map to themselves. Yeah, perfect use of that Molotov, which enables them to know with a shadow of a doubt that this bomb can go down uncontested. Very loud. They know Perfecto's on his flank. And elsewhere, Boomich has recovered the rifle that Electronic has already used to great success. 
They might even think about saving these. I know it sounds ridiculous, but there's no kid in play. The next gun round is going to be very, very weak. No, nope, they're going for it. Never mind. Oh, shit, it really is an impossible retake. Yes. Yeah. Twist got one tapped. Now, Perfecto. Maybe he wants to get that away with that AK. He's made enough audio, and I'm afraid he's really going to be questioned. Rez has to hunt him down. It's Galil upgrade to an AK for him, and wow. NIP look to continue their road here at ESL1. Cologne, Na'Vi, not really voicing any concerns on their map pick, and that is that is strange. First, the complexity loss. It, it had many. And that's so. I, I feel that's okay, though. I feel like when you look at complexity, you go... They're on a high note right now. This makes sense. We can we can put that in a box and say, fair enough. This? I mean, not only did they not have they not beaten Navi this year, they've barely 16-3. Yeah, this is actually gonna be the, the, the biggest stomp we'll have seen Navi concede in some Go. time if it finishes here. It may not. Perfecto with just one. That's not gonna house them. That's not gonna contain them. Passive approach. Nork's already got them locked down. The bomb's being planted. And simple, his rotate is being held. Okay, careful now. Plopsky has the flank. No kid again. Put a bow on it. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Two members of Na'Vi. Now just one black and yellow jersey. It's all done.